Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because I'm going to be doing a blush declutter and highlight and bronzer as well. An all over cheek product declutter. I've found that my cheek drawer has started to overwhelm me again. I did a declutter a little over a year ago, I think. And it's just really starting to overwhelm me with products that I don't actually like, but I'm just keeping around. So I wanted to go through it and kind of clean it out with you guys. And I can let you know some of my favorites and some formulas that I'm not necessarily a fan of anymore and you know move on get them out of my collection so that I can purchase things and try new things and have room for those kinds of things I'll probably donate not donate I'll probably gift them to my friends a lot of my friends are makeup lovers but are kind of like not cheap can't really justify makeup purchases whereas I can as a makeup artist so I'll probably donate a lot of this donate I'll probably gift a lot of the stuff to them even if it is used they won't care because they're like my good friends Anyway, let's get into it. I actually know that I have a few cheap products that I use today over on my little vanity desk area. So I'm gonna go get those and then we can get started. Also, if you're wanting to know how to get this look, um, it'll be my last video. Um, I think I'm gonna post that one before this one. So I'll link it in the cards up above if you're interested on seeing how I got this look. My hair is in my face. I never do my hair, so this feels so weird. I have my extensions in. I wanted to play with those because I bought them for my wedding and I never actually wore them. So give those a shot today and they keep getting stuck in my armpits, which is super annoying. All right, so, oh, I have an overwhelming drawer full of ColourPop and stuff that I don't use. So let's go through it and let's, you know, make it stuff that I do want to use, you know? I always just start by taking everything out just because I get overwhelmed just by looking at it in a drawer, you know? Okay, so one revelation that I've made is that I don't like ColourPop Super Shock cheeks. So I'm gonna get rid of them. They have some really beautiful ones, but honestly, they also have some larger compacts and those are just taking up space, like a lot of space. So let's go through those and get rid of them first. Okay, so the first things I'm going to get rid of are the Super Shock blushes from, oh, sorry, my hair is just, I need to get it out of my face. This is why I don't wear my hair down. The Super Shock Cheeks from the Wine Knot collection, I think this was. Yeah, it's gotta be. Actually, that one's really pretty. Okay, maybe I keep that one. I'm so bad. I thought these were all dried out. Okay, this one is definitely dried out. This is the shade Cruel Intentions. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is the shade Cheerio. This one is still good. It's just way too deep for me, I think. Do you think that shade would look good on me though? I'll try it. Okay, I'll keep these two, but I'm gonna get rid of that one. Man, this is already not off to a good start. This is definitely, definitely uh, dried out. This is the shade Growth Flirt. Look at it, it's so gross. I think I got this um, with the Sweet Talk collection, so this needs to go. Sweet Talk was like way too long ago to keep that. Uh, for Super Shock highlights, I have this shade called Thimble. Oh, it still feels so nice. I just don't like the formula. Okay, maybe I'll keep one just because this one is like my perfect color. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try it one more time. This Super Shock Cheek from the Costa Coral collection, this is the shade Coastin. It has a really beautiful like marbling on it. This is just a bit too dark for me. It's a little bit too peachy and I never use it. So this is gonna go. It's just too big too. Like this compact is like very large. This is also going, this is from the Barbie collection. This is hard for me to part with because I'm like, I don't know, big Barbie fan for some reason. I don't like go out of my way to purchase that stuff, but this is just so cute. So this is also too dark for me, so I will never go for it. At least the one that I am keeping is smaller, you know? Uh, lastly, this one is from the tie-dye collection from the middle of the pandemic. This is the shade You're a Trip. Um, this is just super not flattering on me. It's like a gray toned pink. It does not look good on me, so. Uh, these are relatively new, so I know the formula is still good on these. This is from... Shoot, what is that collection called? I just did a video on it. One of my last videos. I'm blanking. I'm going off of my antidepressants, so my brain is like really not working. These are the Super Shock highlighters from that blue and orange collection. <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering what it's called. In the Springs. Palm Springs? Something like that, right? So um, I'm gonna give these away. I bet you a lot of my friends would get a lot of good use out of these and the formula just doesn't work for me, so it doesn't make sense for me to just hoard them. Uh, this product by Aether Beauty, this blush, palette, I guess. I don't know if they still sell this. If they do, I will keep it. And if they don't, I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. No. So they don't have this anymore. I feel like I'm not going to have any blush. I guess I could just buy more. Okay. This is going to go because it's not available anymore and it doesn't make sense 
for me to just keep something even when it's not available because I don't really use it, you know what I mean? It's kind of like one of those like limited edition, I'm hoarding kind of situation. The, this hair is driving me crazy, oh my God. Now I know why I don't freaking wear it down. Okay, this going. Now this is staying. Okay, this is the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini. She doesn't sell these anymore which again, I'm not using that as justification to keep things, but I really do like this loose highlighter. It's so blinding, which isn't really like the look I go for anymore, but I need one that's super blinding that I can use. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I love this one. I have the three LYS Love Yourself. Um, these are the Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighters. I very, I'm like really slouching, sorry. I very much enjoy these still, so I'm gonna keep these. Two products that are going, I think I actually had both of these in my worst of 2021 products. This is the Mented Cosmetics Bronzer. This is a beautiful formula and I do enjoy Mented Cosmetics. Their packaging and stuff really is, it's truly beautiful. Uh, this color is just not it for me and this is their latest shade so can't really make do with this. So I'll give it to a friend that has a deeper skin tone than me and I'm sure she'll love it. Another product that's going, I have the strength to let go of it. This is the Bambi Morning Light. It's like a powder puff highlighter that doesn't do anything. It's just glitter specs, you know, not even scented. It's just cute, so I don't really want to keep something just for its cuteness, plus it's freaking massive. So if it was cute and takes up a little bit of space, maybe, but no, this is too big. My Milani baked blushes are staying. I love these. These are so old though, like disgustingly old, but they work and they're so good still. So these are also more recent. Um, this is from the, the last Airbender collection. Why does ColourPop just keep launching Super Shock Cheeks? Like it's all the same. This is also like a very cool toned pink that is super unflattering on me. So it is going. Uh, this one is too deep for me. This is the shade Got Glow. This is going, this is like more of like a bronzy color. I appreciate that they're like, you know, bringing out more shades, but I, I just can't use them. Let's see. Um, next up, I have these ColourPop light sticks. I think this is a highlighter stick. I don't know when I thought I was gonna get use out of this color. That's going, it's way too deep for me. Uh, the blush sticks I'm gonna keep. I do like these blush sticks. Um, I don't like to like swipe them on, but I put them on a brush first. This is from the Lemoncello collection and they all look like they're intact and in pretty good shape. I should use these more. Maybe I'll make a point to do that. No. Okay. I think it's just the plastic. I think it's just the plastic. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a point to use these, but I do like them. So they are staying also in the keep pile. I'm going to keep these color nurture cream blushes, um, by Burt's Bees. I think I liked these. I should really try them again. Um, I'm pretty sure I liked them though. Unlike the cream eyeshadows. So I'm going to keep these. This should probably go. It's like it smells very sunscreeny now. So I think I'll get rid of this. I don't use it a ton. This is the Becca, uh, shimmering skin perfector the liquid this is in the shade moonstone i really like the powder one that i have but i just don't really reach for the liquid so that can go i have all of these like single blushes from ColourPop. i'm gonna pop these in a palette and i am gonna keep them this one's fresh and peachy so i have two fresh and peachy so i'm gonna give one away and i'm gonna keep one because i do really like the peachy blush look i'm just gonna depot them and i think i'll put them in like a palette this ColourPop shade uh the shade lunch money i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep lunch money and i'm gonna get rid of thimble because lunch money is much more flattering on me. I have all three of the LYS. These are the pressed highlighter powders. I don't love these as much as the liquids, but I do still like them, so I'm gonna keep them. The ColourPop Cheek Dews. I thought I didn't mind these, but they lift my foundation. They separate and get really yucky. Uh, the only time that I like these is when I'm not wearing makeup. Like, look at that, that's so gross, you know? Ugh, gross. Anyway, I don't like these. They're like a serum blush. The only time I would like to wear them would be without makeup. But and then I was thinking to myself, how often do you actually wear blush without foundation underneath? Never. So I'm going to get rid of these. These two Powerpuff Girls blushes I'm going to keep really bright, but still really pretty. Same with these two super bright uh, Hello Kitty ones. Also very pretty. Really like those. So I'm gonna keep them. If I get good use out of them, why not, you know? I love this blush. This is the shade Palatial. It's from the Moody Blooms, Dark Blooms, Ornate Collection, something like that. I don't remember exactly what it is. Keeping that for sure. Uh, this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, it's not my favorite, but I'm going to continue using it. I do get like a decent amount of use out of it, even though I do prefer other things oftentimes. So I'm gonna keep this one. If we're being real, this was way too expensive to just get rid of. This Laura Mercier highlighter, I don't, 
I don't think I'm gonna keep it. This is the shade Devotion. It's just really glittery and it doesn't look nice on me. So I think I'm gonna give this one away. Um, I bet you one of my friends will love it. This Becca highlighter in the shade Pearl, since I can't get it anymore and I really do enjoy it, I'm gonna keep. This Pixie by Petra palette. I don't even know why I opened this. This is the Summer Glow palette in the shade Sheer Sunshine. This is going for sure. I don't get any use out of this hardly. I have this Urban Decay Naked Threesome. Naked Threesome. I never even noticed that name. Uh, this is a bronzer uh, blush and highlighter trio. I never use this, like never. And I said in my last declutter that I'm gonna try and I haven't touched it since, so this needs to go. This Sleek palette, I said in my last video, um, I don't get a ton of use out of it anymore, but my best friend gave it to me and it's nostalgic So I need to keep that just because I love her dearly. This highlighter by Milani. I actually really like this is in the shade Afterglow I'm gonna keep that the iconic trophy wife gonna keep that the fairy bomb I'm keeping this just because it smells nice ones that I'm not gonna keep are the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose highlighters um, I was attached to these for a little bit, but I no longer am so I'm gonna get rid of these I just don't use them I don't really reach for loose highlighters and I'm already keeping two so like that's plenty for me I have these two cute animal crossing blushes that I'm gonna keep the only thing with this one I don't like is it has like little glitter flecks in it I don't think that's super flattering. I used it recently though, so I'm gonna see how I like it. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, this one I'm definitely keeping. It's a very pretty coral shade. The Essence Pure Nude Highlighter, classic. I need to keep this. Uh, these ColourPop ones from the Garden Variety Collection. I'm gonna keep this shade called Desert Rose. This one called Whole Nine Yards. Okay, I'm gonna keep this and try to get some use out of it before I get rid of it. I think these two ColourPop blushes are from the Big Poppy Collection. Do I keep that? I don't think that's gonna be a flattering color on me. I just don't. This one has a lot of glitter, so I'm definitely not gonna keep either of these, I don't think. That's cute. Shook to the Coral from the Costa Coral collection. This one also has quite a bit of glitter in it, so I'm not gonna reach for that, I just know it. This Kylie Cosmetics highlighter, I actually do still really like, so this is the shade Princess Please. I don't even think she sells it anymore, she might, but if I'm going for pink, I usually go for this one, because it's not like a super cool toned pink. It appears so in the pan, but like it's not. It's like a champagne -y pink and I think it's flattering so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm also gonna keep the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter. I really like this one. I don't think it got good reviews but I like it. This shade by Becca that's like a really big fave of mine. This is the shade Vanilla Quartz. It's what I'm wearing today. Really pretty. Can't get it anymore so I do want to use it up if I can. This is almost gone. This is the Laura Mercier. I've had this for like six years. My back. I keep slouching. I need to stop. This is the baked powder in highlight 01. Keeping that for sure because it's like so close to being gone. It's not even funny. Two blushes that I'm definitely keeping. These are the Rare Beauty liquid blushes. I really like these. I have the shade Happy and Bliss. For bronzers, I have the Juvia's Placed Bronzed Duo. This is in the shade Light and I really enjoy this. It's a little warm for me sometimes, but overall I do like it. The Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Butter Biscuit. This is just gorgeous. Definitely keeping this one plus it's relatively new. I really I really, really enjoy this Laura Mercier blush actually. Uh, this was gifted to me. This is in the shade Watermelon. I just think it's a really pretty peachy pink, so I'm gonna keep that for sure. I keep closing the compacts before I'm done speaking. Um, I also love, love, love this blush. This is by Bare Minerals. It's the Gen Nude Powder Blush in the shade Call My Blush. I personally really like cool tones on me, which is ironic because I have mostly warm, uh, but this is a really pretty like rosy mauve tone that I really enjoy. This one needs to go just because it has so much glitter in it. I love, love, love the tone though. This is the shade Juice Bar from ColourPop. I do use it like an okay amount, but like it's too glittery. Every time I use it, I'm like, oh, I wish I used something else, you know? So this needs to go. Tower 28, Beach Please in the shade Power Hour. Fantastic cream blush. Uh, the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, I gave this a really bad review and kind of shit on it a little bit. I didn't realize that there was likely a lighter color I think I got the shade tan lines. I think they have something that is a little bit lighter. So I was like, this is so dark on me, blah, 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 not realizing that I didn't get the lightest one. I don't know if I'll keep it. I am getting a little more tan, so maybe I will try and see how it works for me in the summer. I've only used it a couple times, so I feel bad getting rid of it at this point. This is also staying. This is the Milani uh, Sunlight Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. This is a little bit warm on me. It kind of pulls orange, but that's like when I'm super fair. So again, I am going to try it in the summer just to see if it is something that could be really flattering on me. Just 
seasonally. And lastly, I really like this product. I have for years. I've hit pan on it. This is the Tarte um, Exposed Highlight. It's the Amazonian Clay Highlighter. I've hit pan. I think I already said that. It's super beautiful. I really like this one. And that's it. I feel like I got rid of a substantial amount, actually. Um, I'll show you how much I'm getting rid of. I'll show you the pile. So this is the pile of stuff that I am decluttering, and I am very excited about it. Um, yeah, not this. This needs to stay. Um, but, like, it's a pretty significant pile, you know? I got a lot to give away here. So, yeah, that's really exciting. I think I'm going to put the powder, highlight, and blushes in one container and then creams and liquids in the other. I don't have like a ton of bronzers, so I think I'm gonna keep those out of the bins entirely. Okay, I think that's all I have for powder, blush, and highlight. So I just included uh, the ColourPop Super Shocks as powder. I'm just gonna slide this uh, sleek palette to the very back just because it's heavily expired and I know I won't use it and it's just nostalgic. So it's just for that purpose only. So I'm just gonna leave it at that, I think. And then I'm going to put these into a palette and I think I'll just keep my bronzers up front. Okay, so my camera died, but I did kind of switch a couple things around. I took out the second acrylic organizer I had and put in this little plastic one. I don't have a ton of cream blushes, so I just kind of stuck them all in there and they kind of fit perfectly, except for the Burt's Bees ones, which honestly I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep anyway. I'm gonna test them out a little bit, so I do wanna keep them out. These are all of my powder blushes and highlights, and then I kept this Press Powder Palette. I just have a little ColourPop palette that I popped these uh, free blushes into. I used to just keep them in here, just like Roman free, just raw dogging in there. So now they are safe and protected. I have my Charlotte Tilbury here, um, just all of my bronzers. I don't have a ton of bronzers. I only have, what, five? So that wasn't too hard. I didn't want to get like a separate organizer just for that, especially because I do like to put these in my makeup bag. So I can't see the Fenty Beauty cream one staying in here for long. Um, it'll probably move over to my makeup bag next time I do my makeup. So the bronzer, I just kind of wanted to keep them kind of free flowing. So I just kind of let them loose in there. And yeah, I'm really happy with this organization. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a step up from what it was and I feel like I've decluttered a lot. I feel good about it. I feel like these are the blushes that I really want to use and I know are flattering. Because when I had those other ColourPop ones, like I was like, okay, maybe I'll use them. But like, you know in the back of your mind that you won't, you know? For one reason or another. I know that the blushes with glitter in them, I won't wear. I just won't. So I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy that everything fit pretty nicely. And yeah, this is my new drawer. And I think that's it from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. It helps out my channel so very much by you watching, so thank you. Please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.